one of the things I admire about this club is that alone of the clubs in Palm Beach, you have to have given money to charity to become a member. You have to have given about a million dollars to charity or you're not going to get in. That's, that's not true in any of the clubs. So the 300 families that are part of this, it's very expensive, it's very exclusive, it's a beautiful club. The best, probably the best food of any of the clubs in Palm Beach. Uh, Bernie Madoff got into that club. It was at a time when he was, you know, he was getting more and more money. The problem with an affinity scam like that is you need to have more and more money, you need more and more investors. That, that's the only way it's going to succeed. If the, if the, in fact, if the, if the market hadn't crashed, he'd be still doing this right now. I mean, that's the only reason it, 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 he was discovered, was because the market crashed and he couldn't keep up giving the money out. But, uh, so he came to Palm Beach in 1991, 1994, he joins the club, and very, very shrewd the way he handles this. He doesn't come out and ask you for money. He isn't gonna, he's gonna say, I don't want your money. His uh, lieutenant in the Palm Beach Country Club was Robert Jaffe. Now, Robert Jaffe was from Boston. He's a poor boy from Boston. He wanted to marry a rich woman. And in the summer when he was in college, he worked at Louis. If you know Boston, Louis is an exclusive men's store right on, right on uh, downtown Boston. He met Ellen Jaffe. Ellen Jaffe, his father, Carl Shapiro, uh, excuse me, Ellen Shapiro then. She, she was uh, the daughter of Carl Shapiro, a very wealthy clothing manufacturer. It's, it sold out and, and, and they married. Jaffe then, uh, uh, Come, when he comes to Pine, he's married to her, the family helps him out, and they live, they, they live a very high style. When he comes to Palm Beach, he goes, he has his, has, he goes into, uh, uh, becomes a broker, he, ha he has his clients with some of the, the top mobsters in Boston. He leaves that, he comes to New York, he's in the same building with Bernie Madoff, and he becomes, secretly, one of his top lieutenants. So when you come to the Palm Beach Country Club, and you go and play golf, with, with, with Mr. Jaffe, uh, and he's a terrific golfer, he doesn't talk to you about Bernie Madoff. He just talks about golf and maybe, maybe sometime in the conversation you sidle up to him and you say, you know, I've got five million dollars here or a or million dollars here. I'd love to put it with Bernie. And he said, well, I don't think so. I don't think Bernie's interested. Well, by the time the, the, the 18 holes are up, you've taken your five million dollars and he's agreed to do it. And you don't know it, but uh, Jaffe's gonna make one or two percent for, for his take, he's played his 18 holes of golf and he's made a few hundred thousand dollars. This happened time and time again until about a third of the members of the club were invested with, with Madoff. I was, on the dinner that, on the, on the evening that that happened, I was having dinner with a friend of mine and uh, somebody called me and told me that it happened. And the strange thing about it was that Nobody doubted it. I mean, wouldn't you think somebody would say, I can't be this can't be true, I don't believe this. But everybody immediately you know, knew that it was true. So in the back of their heads, they knew something was wrong with this. Or they, wouldn't, or they would have said, well, let's defend him, this, this, is, this can't be true. But immediately, within seconds, people felt that, that this was the truth. I called my friend, and he called a friend of his, that, a man that I know, who uh, immensely charitable man who had all of his foundation's money, all of his company's retirement money in with Bernie Madoff. Uh, this man is, was worth about $100 million. He took wh what he had left. He, I, don't, I don't know how much he lost, but he lost the, most of that. He took what he had left, he put the money back into his company's retirement plan, he put his money back into his foundation, and he's left with $2 million. And he, and, he, and he can deal emotionally with that. Uh, the losses were horrendous. There, there are women that uh, on their husband's deathbed, the husband said, darling, whatever you do, you don't know about money. Just give your money to Bernie. Have Bernie take care of it. So these women gave everything they had. They have, they have nothing. There are, people like this, there are people like this that have to move, into their, move in with their kids. So, that's, so it, it really has changed the attitude of Palm Beach and changed, uh, changed the way people see it now. And uh, I, I think it's a kind of a wake-up call to, 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 to how people should live there. 